Hey, how's it going? Uh, my name is Ross Carvel, and I'm back for another segment of Ross Carvel's Customs. Uh, yeah, it's another exciting commission, but uh, we're moving from shoes to red leather handbags. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. This is commission, um, and basically the brief is to cats and snakes. So I'm going to be putting a big leather, a big leather, it's a leather bag. <laughs> so I suppose it will be a leather leopard, but I meant to say leopard. I'm putting a big leopard in the center of this and then behind it is going to be a snake. Um, yeah, it's going to look pretty cool and I hope you enjoy seeing the process. Uh, let's go. <laughs> So that's the bag taped up there. Um, I've taped up the whole bottom half and I'm only painting up here. Um, the plan I have here is basically I'm going to have one sort of large central leopard head with a snake intertwining behind him. And that's going to fill up the whole of this space here. Um, yeah, I'm going to put like a lot of shadow and stuff into the snake so that it really looks like he's behind the leopard's face. Um, yeah, it's going to look really cool. Uh, let's get on with the painting. Surprise uh, interruption into the making of this bag because I'm going to be doing an extra custom in this video Which is going to be my Doc Martens. I've had these shoes. They're actually quite new, but um I've been doing so many custom things and I made custom shoes last time I thought it was about time that I had some custom shoes for myself So I'm going to show you a bit of extra bonus process footage of the making of these Doc Martens Let's go <laughs> So we're just going to go in for some detail of this snake guy and on his face. The faces of snakes are something that I've had to learn. I'd, I mean, I it's, you can draw a snake, but then drawing a snake face that I personally am happy with in my own style has been something that's taken a long time to develop. And trust me, I've drawn a lot of snakes. <laughs> but the funny thing is that you can either draw them very simply are very detailed and also you can draw them in between so this looks like they're always an interesting thing to draw because there's just so many ways you can draw them the nature of the how simple they are you kind of almost automatically do go to draw them in a simpler way but when you put in a little bit of effort to, to do scales and stuff you can really make them cool 
And the other cool thing about snakes is their big fangs and then their big long forked tongue. I love making the tongues like extra, extra long. Like longer than, like completely just exaggerating them. Longer than they are in real life. Which is always, which is always a bit of crack. It makes them look very cool. <laughs> Um, I'm very happy with how they turned out. This is the bag, and uh, this is my Doc Martin shoe. And uh, honestly, I'm very happy. I was doing a lot of like shading and a bit of experimenting. I don't really use paint as much as I use like markers and inks. So I was really uh, experimenting with the shading, but I'm very happy with how it turned out. And you'd see the same sort of technique on the shoe. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, I hope you enjoyed as well. And if you did, maybe you'll subscribe and like this video, and maybe you'll even share it with your friend if you liked it that much. Um, thank you very much. Um, I hope you have a good day, and see you soon.